So in today's video, I'll be reviewing a 164 scale three car 3D printed attachment. So basically this one fits on just about any 164 green light trail trailer and uh, it's printed really nice. I'll leave the link in the description so if you guys want to check it out, maybe buy it, uh, you guys can go ahead and do so. Fits three cars perfectly, three trucks a little tight, kind of depends on the size of the truck. But it has rivets here as you could tell, little storage compartments, little things to hold the cars. And uh, what you we could do is just apply some glue to the trailer or the actual printed piece to uh, get a better uh, get get it better attached so you could stay on there. But for now I'm not doing that because I, I have another trailer coming in that I want to put it on. But I guess let's load it up and uh, see how see how it holds three cars. So these are three all uh, not big cars. They're all decently sized. This one's a little bit smaller. It's uh, MX-5. Put that one on the tail. Oh, yeah, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is this trailer does uh, basically unfold the ramps. If you guys are thinking about buying the trailer too, it's pretty neat. So let me, actually, let me load up the first car here. Just to show you real quick. And then uh, the second car will be uh, a Nissan GTR. The only reason I'm holding the actual... 3D printed piece is because I don't have it glued or secured down or anything, so it's gonna move if I try to load the cars on. And the last car will just be the Mazda, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put these ramps back up. But I mean, if you're gonna be using this for uh, just a regular just diorama, it uh, it would be pretty cool. And then just put the Mazda on the tail right there. I mean, they all fit perfectly on there. They stay not. They stay pretty good to be honest. You could drive around if you're gonna play with this. I mean, they stay pretty good to be honest on there. Only it only shakes because my trailer rim is bent. So, and then I'll show you kind of how it fits with uh, the trucks. So right here, I have this Dodge Lamry 3500. It's a 2018, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, 2018. I don't know if you could see that. 2018 Dodge Lamry 1500. Custom. I built it. It was a it was a different truck. I got the sleeper from a DCP. Kind of made a little thing up there and then a little spot but I'm actually gonna put a hitch like that so I can hold all the trailer but this one's gonna be on here let me just kind of show you how it fits on here I'll put this one right on the back maybe like right here I mean it fits perfectly right there and then I got my once I can't, I can't see that Never mind. there you go now I got my 164 scale Ford monster truck that came with this blue trailer put it on the very top here I mean it fits great it looks great, fits great, and uh, that's that. I'm gonna be showing you some longer cars, maybe some trucks. Got a cyber truck here. I'm gonna put this one right on the back. Now we got uh, two longer cars. This is, uh, I forgot what this thing was called. Oh, it's a 61 Impala. And on that one, and then we can just put a little short car in the middle. Maybe the Mazda again. That doesn't fit, but whatever, that's that. And then we got a uh, Got another longer car right here. It's almost the same as in Paul, except there's a Johnny Lightning right there. That's why it doesn't fit too good on this trailer. And then for the last car, we could put the Mazda on the back because it is the shortest. It fits two long cars, one short car. Or you could even replace one of these with the truck. I mean, uh, it's great. You could replace this one with the Lamborghini right here I have. Let me show you real quick. I mean, looks great. Is great. Not even if, even if you're not using it for display, still super fun to play with and do stuff with it. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a 164 print. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. I probably wouldn't be able to print this myself. The seller was super nice. Shipped it right away. I'll definitely make sure to leave a link in the description for this 164 print. You could also find other prints on eBay too. But this is really cool, and I really like this one, so I went ahead and purchased it, and I uh, kind of did a little review on eBay. But uh, I like it a lot, and I'll definitely recommend it for anyone out there who's trying to get like a maybe like a trucking diorama. But I should have a video coming soon on this one right here, a full review of where I got the stuff and everything. But it's gonna be a hitch on the back. Stay tuned for this one because uh, the hitch is supposed to be coming soon, and the trailer is supposed to be coming soon for this. But this is a really cool one, so stay tuned for this one. And I guess if you guys like this review, like button, subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions, thoughts, comments, everything, just leave it down below. 
and make sure you hit the subscribe button to my channel because I, I am new to YouTube. I'm new to 164 scale. So if you guys like this video, I mean if you guys like this video or anything, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks guys for watching and see you next time.